Hi guys, it's Bambi. Welcome back to another recipe video. Today I'm gonna to be making peanut Bambi, butter. what are you uh -oh, doing? I gotta go. Hey guys, welcome back to another recipe video. So a while back, my mom, AKA Lady in the Garden, was visiting and she made me the most delicious quinoa salad ever. Right when I tasted it, I freaked out. I couldn't control myself. I just turned into a little squirrel and kept eating it and eating it and didn't want to share it with anyone. It's so flavorful because it has so many different fresh herbs in it. It's really colorful because it has a bunch of beautiful vegetables in it. And it's actually perfect for fall because it has all those fall colors like red, orange, yellow, green. So if you want to see how I make this video, I mean this recipe, then just continue watching. <laughs> so for this recipe, you will need one and a half cups of cooked quinoa. I'm using sprouted organic quinoa. You can also use brown rice. Four to six green onions, thinly sliced. One organic red bell pepper, finely diced. One or two grated carrots. I like to chop mine even finer after I grate them. A quarter to a half a cup of finely chopped fresh mint leaves. Use more or less mint leaves depending on how minty you want it. I personally like a lot of mint. A quarter to a half cup of finely chopped fresh parsley. The juice of one fresh lemon. Six tablespoons of olive oil. One tablespoon of raw honey or maple syrup. I'm using maple syrup because I'm Canadian. Half a cup of raisins. I like to use sultana raisins and I tend to cut each raisin into two or three pieces. You definitely don't have to do this, but I personally love getting little bits of raisins all throughout this salad. One tablespoon of minced fresh turmeric or one teaspoon of powdered turmeric. And then finally, some salt and pepper to taste. So once you have all your ingredients finely chopped, you can just combine them all in a big bowl, mix it up a bit, and chill before serving. I think cutting everything into small pieces is the key to this recipe, and chilling allows the flavors to really come out. And once you've made this salad, you can put it into mason jars and take it on the go with you. You can impress your guests and serve it at a holiday dinner party, or you can eat it straight out of the bowl, just like me. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!